Hello everyone, this is Sam from Language Atlas, and in this video I'd like to show you the Italian A1 vocabulary Ankidek. In this video we'll go over three things. First, I'd like to show you the course structure of the Italian A1 vocabulary Ankidek. Second, I'd like to show you the course content, and I'll do so by showing you three Ankidek's in particular. Third, I'd like to show you some brief editing options. So without further ado, let's get started. I'll begin with my first one, which is to show you the course structure. Now, if you want to open an Anki deck, you have to double click on it. However, I've already done so, as you can see right over here. Now, there are nine chapters in this overall Anki deck. Chapter one, pronouns. Two, conjunctions. Three, verbs. Four, determiners. Five, nouns. Six, adjectives. Seven, adverbs. Eight, prepositions. And nine, numbers. Now, this is everything you need to know for Italian A1 vocabulary. If you click on a small plus icon on the left of chapter 5 nouns, you can see there are even more decks inside this deck. Now this is because I've categorized all the nouns in Italian language, ranging from academia and intellect to animals, arts and entertainments, all the way to time, maths and numbers and transportation. So whenever you wish to learn the nouns by a certain category or certain theme, you can do so. Now I'd like to go to point number two, which is to show you uh, three Anki decks. I'll show you one from nouns, which is electronics and technology. I'll show you chapter three verbs, and I'd like to show you chapter six adjectives. Now we don't have time to do all of them, but I'd like to begin with uh, electronics and technology. You can see right over here uh, two underscores and an Italian sentence. You can see over here the English translation, the phone. So it's your job to know what the phone is in Italian. And then you can see right over here a picture. Now this picture is here to help you understand the sentence a lot better, visualize it, and of course studies have shown that it allows you to remember things a lot better as well. So let's see what the correct answer is. Il telefono è occupato. Il telefono. Un telefono. Now what we see right over here is the Italian sentence. You can see this part is in blue. That's because the Italian noun for telephone is masculine, hence blue. Uh, feminine nouns are pink. You can see right over here the IPA notation. You can see over here the English translation. And if you click on this, you can hear the sentence being said. Il telefono è occupato. Right over here we have the noun, we have the IPA notation of the noun, and finally we have the English translation. Il telefono, un telefono. Finally we have over here the plural version of the noun. I telefoni. Again you can see it's the same structure, you have the Italian sentence or Italian word, you have an IPA notation which helps you to pronounce things a lot better, and finally we have the English translation. And this part is in blue because it's a masculine noun. Um, let's go to a, another one. Le I like to do a feminine noun. This is a feminine noun. So you can see right over here, you have to know the answer for machine. How do you say machine in Italian? Questa è una macchina nuova di zecca. La macchina. Una macchina. Le macchine. And again, it's the same concept, same structure. But this time, because we have a feminine noun, it's in pink. And again, this helps you to memorize the gender of Italian nouns a lot better. Now, this was the first card type where we saw a sentence, we saw a few blanks, and it's up to you to know what goes inside the blank. Now I'd like to show you the second card type, which is a fill-in-the-blank exercise. Questa è una... Now, this is what we have seen earlier. We have seen some blanks, a sentence, the English translation, a picture, but now it's up to you to enter the correct answer. I click on enter and let's see what happens. Il telefono è occupato. Il telefono, un telefono. I telefoni. Now, you can tell it's in green because I entered the correct answer. And right here we see the sentence in Italian, English, picture, and the same setup we have seen earlier. 
Now, the second card type is all about knowing how to spell things. This helps you um, to learn a word even better because you have to constantly practice, okay, how do I spell this word? And again, the same concept applies for the other verbs that we have as well. But what if we type in the cor incorrect answer? Lei ha fatto un video del matrimonio. I video, un video. I video. Now, as you can tell, if you type in the incorrect answer, Anki will actually correct you. So this part in red is incorrect, and over here we can see how it's supposed to be spelled. Now, it's the same concept for all the other ones. So I like to go to a different deck. I like to go to verbs now. So let's click on chapter three verbs and let's see what we get. So right now we have a sentence, again, in the same concept, which is the first card type. We have a blank over here. We have English translation with to dance bolded and underlined. So we have to know what to dance is in Italian. And again, a picture to help you visualize the sentence, know what it actually means. And of course, hopefully to help you memorize things a lot better. Vuoi ballare con me? Ballare. It's the same concept as before, but now we don't have a plural version because verbs don't have plural versions. And if you click over here, Ballare. you can see the full verb in Italian. So this allows you to uh, understand, memorize and practice verbs in Italian. Uh, let's do this one, for example. You should try to be on time. Let's try. Dovresti provare ad essere puntuale. Provare. Uh, we have to read as well. My mother's sight is so poor, she has to ask me to read to her. La vista di mia madre è scarsa, perciò mi chiede di leggere per lei. Leggere. And this is how it goes. And if we were to continue long enough and far enough, we would get to a point where we have to type in the correct answer, as we've seen before. Now I'd like to go to the adjectives, which is the last deck I'll show you. You can see over here, my hair is brown, uh, empty plot part over here, a picture with a woman whose hair is brown. I miei capelli sono marroni. 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 Now, this is an interesting thing because Italian adjectives uh, have plural versions as well, but they also have masculine and feminine versions, which is one I'd like to show you now. So we have, we need a correct estimate of this year's budget. Abbiamo bisogno di una stima corretta del budget di quest'anno. Corretto, corretta. Corretti, corrette. And as you can tell, it's the same concept, but this is the masculine version. This is the feminine version of the noun correct, and this is all singular. And now we go to the plural part. This is the plural version, and again, the plural version. So masculine, feminine. Corretti, corrette. And I like how there are these little colons, so you know where to pause and where to stop. It really helps you to pronounce things. And if I were to continue long enough, at some point you would get to this part, which is to fill in the blanks. Now this was my second point to show you a few decks. Now this is chalk filled with all kinds of exercises. It will help you memorize, practice and learn the Italian A1 vocabulary, all these decks. Now. The third point I'd like to show you is to show you some brief editing options. So if you go over here to this little thing and we click on options, you can see right over here we have the daily limits. This is the most important part for me. We have new cards per day and maximum reviews per day. So we can change this. So we can make this 50. We can make this 50. And all of a sudden, the amount of new cards that you will see on a day 50 and the amount of reviews that you will do, so things that you have uh, practiced before, you have to do them again, the reviews. We can click on save. And all of a sudden, you can see that the numbers have increased. So you can always increase or decrease them if you want to. My advice to you is to pick a low number, 25, 25, or you can even do 10 and 10, whatever you want. The most important thing here is that you pick a number which you can do consistently because learning a language is all about consistent practice. It's far better to do a, a very tiny bit every day than to pick a huge number to do every day and then stop because it's just too much for you. So that was it for this video. I hope I have been able to show you everything you needed to know for Italian A1 vocabulary. You can get the deck on languageatlas.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comment section or just send me an email. 
I will put all the important information in the description and comment section. Thank you so much. Once again, if you want to get the deck, you can go to languageatlas.com. This has been Sam from Language Atlas, and I hope you enjoyed it. I wish you good luck with learning the Italian language. Goodbye.